Laro'y sinasa puso at kinaaaliwan Na para bang digmaan ang laban Manalo If you're just tuning in, do not be shocked. Uh, undefeated Alaska air trailing big at the half against Barako Gold, 49-31. Uh, good day, everyone. Miko Alili with El Decano, Senor. Kinito Henson and Kinito will help explain how Barako Gold has done the unthinkable in the first two quarters. Well, 25% shooting from the field by Alaska, and that is a very, very low figure para sa mga aces. And uh, you have to credit Barako's uh, concerted effort on defense in making it happen. Now, you had picked uh, uh, certain sequences from the first half to uh, explain what happened in the first half. Dalawa, no? Uh, first part here is a Calvin Abueva defensive rebound to spark a fast break. Makikita natin, Calvin, right there. Hold on. You've got Calvin with the ball after getting the defensive rebound, but you also say, you're also seeing that yung mga player ng Alaska, you've got one, Casho, Hasul, and then the third player, Dondon Antiveros, looking to run the break because they realize that pag nakakakuha ng bola si Calvin Abueva, you know what's gonna happen. It's gonna be run and gun. And that's why you have that fluidity of motion ng Alaska in terms of running the break. Makita natin kung ano nangyari. They are running by the way, that wasn't that Dondon. I think that's Cyrus Baggio. But you take a look at the, the issue here is filling the lanes. Again, you take a look at uh, Calvin Abueva right there. At makikita natin, si Casho is on one side of the hardcore area on the left side. And then you have Hasul over on the other side. They are going to be filling the lanes, si Kanga, no? Realizing that if they are able to get a pass coming from Calvin, they will have a free lane towards the basket because isa lang ang defender looking at Calvin Abueva right here, but you have two guys who are going to be filling the lanes. Ito naman ang nangyari. Calvin passing it over to the left side and then the defense, the defense not able to react, nakascore si Casio. That's what you call executing the fast break and filling the lanes. Well, that was the bright side of the story for Alaska. But this first half has been, you know, thoroughly controlled by Barako. Well, a lot of uh, defensive effort na nakita natin sa Barako. Also, sa kanilang execution in the half court, they're spreading the floor, they're getting good looks, and they also have open court situations. Ito naman, this is a play wh which I call killing the switch. And here, you take a look at, uh, well, first of all, you have to say that the whole idea of Alaska's defense is right there. Hindi makascore ang Barako. But you also have a situation here that uh, Mick Pinisi is going to set the pick. And you have Denok Miranda is going to use that pick and he is going to draw the switch. This man, see Eman, is going to switch over to Denok Miranda and there will be a mismatch because Miranda is certainly much faster in going strong to the hole. Ito naman ang nangyari. Here's a switch. Miranda seeing that it's a taller but a less quick Eman and he blows by him and he goes inside for the easy two points. Thank you for uh, those uh, illuminating uh, sequences. Uh, <laughs> okay, second half is now underway. Wow, Alaska, they have a mountain to climb here. How do they start doing it? Well, I think they need to be able to focus first on their execution. Um, alam naman natin that Alaska has been winning games because of its defense. And they should focus on that because for Paraco to score 49 points in a half, that means hindi masyadong maganda ang depensa ng Alaska. So they've got to, number one, buckle down on defense. Pangalawa, take care of the ball and make sure that, 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 that meron silang pagkakataon to execute fluidly uh, in the half court. And right there, hindi na naman maganda yung execution ng Alaska. Nagtapik ang bola and there's a turnover against the Aces. On the floor for Barako Bull, Jake Pascual, JC Intal who fires away. R.R. Garcia, Jonathan Salvador, and Denok Mirada complete their unit uh, here in third quarter. For the Aces, uh, Hazul, Abueva, J.V. Casho, Vic Manuel, and Tony De La Cruz. Shot clock down to two. Top shot by R.R. Offensive rebound for Jake Pascual. So a new shot clock for Barajo Bull. And they feel that uh, Jake has that advantage over uh, Calvin. And a nice hook shot. Or a teardrop, rather, from Jake, and he's in double figures with 12. 
Oh, kanina we were talking about the mababang field goal percentage ng Alaska, only 25%. At sinabi natin, nagkakagulo sila sa execution in the half court. And the reason is, they're not passing the ball around as much. They're forcing situations. And in the first half, napansin natin, Alaska only had two assists. Two assists for Alaska, and they had five turnovers. So yung efficiency na pinag-uusapan natin ganina, hindi natin nakikita yun in the assist turnover ratio ng Alaska. This by Abueva, rebound. Uh, Jake Pascual. Pascual now with seven rebounds today. Baraco Bull enjoying their biggest lead of the game at 51-31. Still early in the third period. Pascual fires again. Man down there. And it's follow John Dunn. Salaki ni John Dunn. I thought he was going to bring down two instead of just one. Yes, Salaki. I think he fouled two people. But that's what makes him such an effective performer because he's got that wide body. He's able to box out. He's able to get good rebounds. And John, he was able to get a foul. But he was able to stop the shot. He made it hard for him. Yeah, very hard. Just couldn't stop uh, you know, himself from pushing uh, Vic Manuel, who will take two free throws. Ako nakikita ko sa Instagram ni John Dan Salvador, yung kanyang mga workouts. Ba't ano mga workout niya? I think, kitang-kitang ebidensya. He's got that uh, wide body, and uh, I think that's a terrific matchup at the post. Muscle versus muscle. Salvador versus Manuel. Okay, let's go to Sel. Baraco had a perfect run on first half at sabi ni Coach Alex Compagnan daw ay dahil his team lacked focus at para mak... Okay, I think we lost Sel. Kubol naman. Ayan, there you go. Ang goal nila is to set the tempo sa second half at iwasan ang end game meltdowns. Balik sa inyo. Okay, thank you Sel as Vic Manuel misses the jumper. Denok Miranda. But Deno was a, one of the optimum performers of Barako Bull in the first half. You know, he had, he had those uh, three-point shots uh, beating the shot clock uh, buzzer. He had a couple of very nice assists and poise overall. Ang, uh, ang nakaka-frustrate if you're a defensive team is when the other team is able to get off a three-point conversion with time almost out. And he did it not once, but twice. Kanya yun, nakakahina ng load nun. He tested it again! He tested it again! Tapapag-usapan natin si Denok Miranda. Ginawa na naman ni Denok with one to shoot. And he hits a corner three-point shot. Biggest lead of Barajo Bull today. 54-33. And here's another foul by John Dunn. I mean, seriously, Kenito, how stunned are you that Barako Bull is doing this to, of all teams, Alaska? I think, uh, magandang scouting nila. <laughs> One of the things that I've noticed here is that they are playing very good and tough denial defense. And uh, I think that's one reason kung hindi nakakapag-execute ng uh, Alaska. They've had to try to create from the outside. And when you're doing that, hindi gumagalaw ang bola, wala tayong nakikita ang triangle, and that's the reason kung bakit dadalawa lang ang kanilang assist and they're shooting less than 30%. But you know, mahaba pa, mahaba pa itong oras. We're just in a third period. If there's a team that can come back from a huge deficit, you know it's Alaska because their record is 6-0. That record speaks for itself. Well, that immaculate, immaculate record is now at risk. Barako Bull... Uh, I mean, they've been they've been on point since the very since the start of the game. But there's also a lot of physical action between Manuel and Chakasi Pascual. Huh? Here's Azul for three. Yes, sir. And that puts some fire now in the offense. But there's a foul in the backcourt. Third personal against uh, JV Casho. Still over seven minutes remaining in the third quarter. RR to Intal. Intal against De La Cruz. J. 
Jake Pasquale. Opportunity for Alaska to slice into this uh, deficit. Abueva to Manuel, and Manuel will score. Nice extra pass coming from Calvin. Si Manuel Nasaloob going for the high percentage shot. Time out for Barako Ball. They're still on top by 14.